Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sword, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today is going to basically not make a game, we're just going to make a main menu for the Pong game we made in the previous video. We're going to use the drag and drop interface, we're using Game Maker Studio 2.3. And so this is kind of what we're going with today. So we have what elements make up the main menu. We're going to have a background image, not like this. I just stole an image from the internet. To, to, but you can make it just like this if you want. A background image and then two buttons. If you've seen, like, you know, menus are a very common thing. So I have probably many, men, uh, many uh, menu-based videos already here that show a lot of different things on uh, YouTube. So nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm going to show you how to set up the buttons with uh, with custom text so you don't have to bake in the images yourself and to make the buttons a lot more reusable and but yeah but we need basically three things to make this work a background image and two buttons and this button will will go into my gameplay room and this button will quit the game and that's nothing that's just a different video right there okay so here is so here is the pong game from previous you know everybody kind of oops I'm, you know, you, so if, again, if you want to, go ahead and watch that video, but to make this work, you really don't have to. As long as you have a room that you can create, that you can transfer into, it doesn't have to have all the pong bells and whistles that I have. Anyway, I'm, so I'm going to quit this out. I win. And so here's all the code for that. So uh, again, coming back around, we're going to need some sprites for this menu. So I'm going to, and everything I'm doing is going to be in 720p resolution. So that background that I'm going to create here. Uh, sprite wise, I'm going to create a main menu background is going to be 720p as well. And I'll just kind of make it look nice real quick. This doesn't, let's say we've had some issues before 720p resolution with uh, the collision mask not updating, but we don't need to worry about it. It's just a background image. And so I like to use I, the Minnesota blue and yellow. I don't know why I do it. I just do it there, just make it a little darker. And then use that as the light, and then just to have something, I'm just I'm just just jimmying up real quick here. So I'm just making it quick, long like that. Then that's it. And just for the sake of this, I can make up a little like eh, make it look like a little pong game. It doesn't have to. I'm just I'm just doing it quick. You get the point here. And then the ball, just a quick little circle here. Be like, oh, there's my pong game. How cute, right? There we go. And that's all I need. Just setting up a background, doing the flood fill to fill in the graphic, using text to put the text in, changing its font, and then just adding a couple boxes. People, I have no art skills whatsoever. So, you know, this is as good as it's going to get for me. So, this is a good background image. And just to, for the sake of getting things going, I can create the room and pop that guy in. So I can create my room, and I can call it uh, Main Menu Room. Make sure I set it over here. I don't know why it comes up with this weird resolution. 720 resolution. And, and instead of putting an object in the scene, I can go into the background layer and just tell it, use that, layer, use that image as a layer, as my background image. And since my room is 720p, my image is 720p, I don't have to worry about anything. It's all done. And now the only thing is I have to make sure that this a menu room is the first room, the, the home room, as you see it here, so that when the game starts up, it starts up in the main menu. This is what I'm expecting to see, and there it is. And so, and I can't do anything, obviously, because I don't have any code for any of the other stuff. But every, all, the Pong, all the Pong stuff is still there, and all we have to do is set up an, a button to make it work. Okay, so... Let's move on to setting up the buttons. This should be a pretty easy video today, hopefully, compared to a lot of the other videos that I've done. Okay, so I never know what size to make the button, so make it what I mean, make it however you see fit. Uh, but I'll show you. We're gonna again. We're gonna do two images here. We're gonna have a mouse over and a mouse mouse enter mouse leave state. So we have two different states of the button. And so again, let me just find my there it is sprite. And so what size for this thing? I never know. 400 by 125? What does that look like in reality here? Is that too little, too much? Maybe 500 by, one, oops, by 150? Yeah, maybe that's a little better. And we're going to need the collision mask this time, so make sure 
that you go in here. I don't know why. It's, it's got to be a bug. Uh, I keep saying it every time. You got to make sure you go in here and set everything accordingly so that the entire image, there you go, my entire, the entire image will be clickable and mouseable. But now I need to go in and I'm just, again, I'm just going to use the blue and the blue and yellow here to make this thing work. The, the, the first image in this is going to be the mouse off state or mouse not enter state, just to keep it simple. And again, I'm not going to worry too much about this. And the only thing, you, the last thing you need to worry about, yeah, that's what's worrying. That's what's all about this thing is workspace on this is horrendous. Like, why try to be Photoshop? I don't know. But anyway, just use Photoshop or GIMP or any of those. Okay, so anyway, there we go. And so the only le the only thing left to worry about here, where is this thing? Oh, I didn't name it, so I'm going to call this the, I'm just going to call this uh, main menu button sprite. Because you'll see, we're not going to, we're not going to put text in here directly. So we can, we can just use one button to do all the work. And I just have to make sure I go in here and make this middle center. And uh, because, that's, because that's how we're going to center the text to draw inside of here. And otherwise, there's, you could have a lot more. It could be a lot more tricky trying to figure out exactly where to draw your sprites inside of here. So middle center, make sure you've done all of the collision masks. So it goes from 0 to 499, 0 to 149, matches up, the, matches up with your image size. And then I just need to copy paste and basically just reverse the images over here or just reverse it so it's yellow, blue on, you know, blue, up, blue border, yellow uh, main body here. And the only tricky part is just getting this to, just remembering. So there we go, just making it like that. Two images. Okay, and, and they're both going to be centered, so we don't have to worry about that. So now there's two image frames, and I say, don't play this just yet. And again, please be careful, avert your eyes if you need to, if you have that kind of sensitivity. I do sometimes. Uh, I, don't get, I don't get too bad with it, but I do get a headache sometimes with uh, fast-moving things. As I get older, things aren't as fun as they used to be. So anyway, so that is all we need to worry about for the rest of this, just using this button sprite to handle two objects. So let's go ahead and add those two objects. Create. Uh, ob let's just do one. Let's just do one and then we can copy it in here for a minute here. So I'm going to do the quit game button first. I'm going to use that button sprite. Main menu button sprite. And I'm not going to worry about anything else right now. Let's get this in the room as well. Let's just drag this guy in here. Oops, I'm in the background layer. Get over to the instance layer. Okay, move the button in. Oh, that's pretty big. That's okay. And so there now, again, avert your eyes. Let me make this X value 640 so I know this thing is centered properly. Okay, good. And again, avert your eyes. It's going to flash. Oh, there it is. Whew. And that's because Game Maker is animating that, and we're going to change that here in half a second. Okay, so what we want to do, going into the game button here, is say on create, whew, let's get rid of that. Let's just set speed, set this, set that, uh, there. I'm going to set what is called the image speed. How fast is this thing animating? And as you can imagine, I'm going to set it to zero. Image underscore speed is the variable that GameMaker is maintaining. And there you go. So there is that. And now let's just worry about, let's worry about the draw state here so we can draw the text we want to draw and this is going to be a pure draw state because we're going to take over for game maker because what we want to do is draw find draw self we want game maker to draw whatever because we're taking over the draw event we know we're saying we know better than game maker so we're saying oh let's draw let's draw whatever game maker would have drawn if we didn't take over the draw event that's what draw self means and so one little thing I forgot here, I want to add a font for the main menu. So you can pick whatever you want for that. Uh, I forgot what I even used in the last video, and I'm not going to find it anyway. Wing, not wingdings. <laughs> Let's not choose wingdings. Wide Latin, no. Do I have anything fun? Bradley Hand? 
All right, Bradley hand. You change the size. Don't make it too big. Don't make it too small. I don't know. That's, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Maybe, maybe a little smaller. Make it 36. Okay, so regular. Do I have bold? No, I don't have bold. Okay, so whatever. I have a font now. And, and now I can apply this font to the object here. That's what I want to do. So I want to go ahead and say, hello, ball. Um, hello, quick game button. And I want to say now, draw self. But then I want to change all these settings. Because I want to say, OK, font. Set the font to the uh, main menu font. All right. Set alignment. So I can center this thing properly here. Set text alignment. And I want this to be center middle. So everything is center center. Draw self, draw font, set text alignment. Maybe the color. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to play with coloring too much today because it's drag and drop and all that. So I'm just going to set the color to yellow. Again, this is this is just to kind of get you thinking about things. This is not the end all be all of all programming. Use alpha, whatever. Set draw color, sure. And then now I want to actually draw the text. I don't want a caption. Oh yeah, I do want a caption. I want this caption to say, oh no, I don't want I don't want draw value, do I? I want I just want draw text. Let's see, draw set font. Get get set get draw set set. Well, I guess I guess I want draw value. I don't know. And so what I want here is just this text, and I want it to say quit. And then I say relative zero zero. Let me see what this does. If it crashes, it crashes. Works for me. Like that. There you go. There's my quit game. And you can see it now. And because of all the centering and because of everything else, this thing is now looking pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry. Yellow is going to be terrible. Um, let me choose. Let me just choose black. Because black will work on both yellow or blue and on yellow. So there you go. Maybe, you know, maybe this isn't the best font in the world, but it's working. So there's my quit game button. And now what I want to do is add the mouse, enter, mouse, leave. So this is all, all there is to drawing the thing on the screen. If you get rid of draw self, it won't draw the font. I'm sorry, it won't draw the image. So there's, so the image will be there, but it will not be visible to you. Because again, Game Maker doesn't do it unless you explicitly tell it in the draw event what you want it to exactly do. And that's, that's what we call polymorphism. That's what we call it using inheritance. There's all sorts of cool little terms virtual functions and whatnot, pure vir virtual, pure virtual functions and things like that that we use. Okay, so now coming in, all I want to do in the mouse enter state is change which image frame I show. And this is all I have to say is image index is equal to one. And that's because I'm changing it from the non-mouse over state to the mouse over state. And when I duplicate this for mouse leave state, oops, okay. I don't know why that keeps coming up lately. I'm going to put it back to zero. So it's just going to toggle between one and zero on the mouse. So there we go. And so you could test it out to make sure it, it's the correct bounds. Make sure you go to all the boundaries and try it out. And yep, it's looking good. So there we go there. So now the last thing to do is what to do when I do mouse left pressed. And what I want to do is end the game or exit the game, or whatever it is in Game Maker here. Exit, that's not it. I want to exit game. So, and of course, the, the mouse has to be in the bounds. I, you hear me? Maybe you hear me clicking, maybe you don't. And then I click here, and the game is over. And that is essentially everything I need to do for a button. I know in a previous video someone commented that I could be using parenting and all sorts of stuff. I have plenty of other videos that show how to use parenting, how to do this in code, how to make this much more generic. But for right now, again, this is basically an introductory lesson. So that's great if you know the, how to do those kind of things, but don't be alarmed if you don't, because that's a pretty, pretty advanced topic. And so this handles the quick game button. So what's cool about this here, now I can duplicate this and just change this to be the one player button. And then I got to make sure I put this thing in the room. One player button goes and just, now you can make this a little center, a little better centered, or whatever it is you want to do with it. 
That looks pretty decent. And then all I have to do, since I wrote all the code already, is say, okay, I don't have to tinker with the, the create event or the left pressed. I don't have to tinker with mouse enter and I don't have to tinker with mouse leave. But I do have to tinker with draw, I'm sorry, draw, uh, left pressed I do have to tinker with, sorry about that. And what I have to do here is whatever it is you think. I'm gonna do a room go to. And I'm gonna, because I have the room already available to me, and I'm gonna say go to Pong. That's my left pressed event, and my draw event here, just, let's see, use the font, center, black color, just change this, what this says. One player game. Oh, that looks pretty good. So there we go, mouse over, mouse over, mouse over, mouse over. I click here, and it goes to the game. And the only thing you notice up here maybe is that the, if you, from my other video, that the, the centering, this looked a lot nicer a while ago, and that's because I've changed the way that the, the, the text is drawn to the screen. And so just a few things over here to fix everything up. You know, so that's pretty, I mean, that is it from the standpoint of the menu itself. So if you're, you were just here for the menu, you can go off and do other things. But, but when it comes to now setting everything back up and using this and, and coming back around, now inside of the ball, when I go outside, the, I'm sorry, in the step event, I remember now where I put that, in the step event is where I tested to see if there was a winning case or a losing case. And so now this is the perfect place to change the restart room and just say, instead of that, say, okay, go to the, Go back to main menu instead. Because when you win or you lose, instead of exiting the whole game or restarting the game, you go back to the main menu. And so the only left, all the other thing left to do is to set up and go into the draw GUI event here and set up this align. Where did, where did I do the? Oh, I don't have the alignment in here like I did for the other. And so I can set the text alignment and I can use just left top because that was the default a minute ago, and it looked good in the other version when I did that. So here is this, everything's centered, everybody's happy, and now see how the text looks a lot better. It looks a lot where, you know, everything is kind of even, and everything looks a lot better than what it was. And so let me just, I'll lose on purpose real fast here, but I think I'm pretty much done, because now everything handles. Maybe if you, maybe an escape key to go back to the main menu if you're, you know, if you're a sore loser or something. But there I go, I lose, it take me back to the main menu, and then I can play it again, you know, just, I'm not gonna, well, I guess I'll lose again real fast while I'm talking, but you can see that now everything is contained, every room goes to another room, everything does what it needs to do, and so I lose, and I can play again if I want, or I can cl click the quit game. And so that covers everything, you know, the main menu is very, you know, relatively simple, just the same, just the two buttons do almost the same thing, and that's why parenting would be so important, because I could write this code one time in a parent class, and then only I can only take over the draw event, or I can even or or the left pressed event to handle what happens with that button, but leave all the other code alone because I don't need to worry about it because every button is going to have the same behavior. Where I set the image speed to zero, there's a mouse enter, a mouse leave. The only difference is what happens when I click and what do I draw for that button and what color do I draw in it. So anyway. Great video, pretty short video, 20 minutes or so. So as always, swordb at cod.edu is a great way to get a hold of me if you need help on anything. Comment below. I love to hear your comments because I love to get ideas for future videos. If you have that, I'm, you know, I'm up to 250 subscribers, yay me. And so I'm start, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of not, not running out of ideas. I've got thousands of ideas, but I would like to know what you guys want to make because ultimately, Making games are fun, and I want to help you guys out as well. So thanks, everybody, as always. Uh, I'm going to be moving on to Frogger next here on my end, fro like a, fro a Frogger clone. Hope to see you there in Drag and Drop, or you can check out my other lessons as well uh, using the uh, Game Maker language. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.